<laughs> Welcome to a day in the life vlog. It is the weekend. It is Saturday. Um, I just got finished relaxing in bed, watching a few of my regular, <clears throat> excuse me, regular YouTube channels that I enjoy catching up with. Um, and so now after kind of brainstorming what I want to do with this day, because it is my day to recharge <laughs> and do a little work, of course, but um, I decided what I'm going to do is I'm going to head out, do a little bit of thrifting, um, get Charlie a couple presents for her birthday, which is this Thursday. She's turning three and um, I'm not sure, just kind of like go out, be by myself and just enjoy the time. But I just posted this on Instagram and I want to emphasize this is in no way sponsored. But I wanted to share this with you because this is the first winter on record in my 36 years of life that I have not struggled with dry skin on my face. And it is because of this glorious skin balm from Freedom Creators Co. She's a small business, woman-owned business. It is... I'm gonna tag her down below so that you can like go and like shop around. Her prices are amazing. This lasted me, like, look, I'm not even halfway through it. And I've had it, I think, like, since the summertime. Like, this will last me easily a year because such a small bit goes a long way. I sound like I'm, like, selling this and I'm not even meaning to. This is, no, like, no way sponsored. But just because I know in the wintertime, it's hard on my skin. I get really dry skin, especially if I'm sick, um, like, around my nose. You know, like, if you're blowing your nose a lot, whatever. Um, it's amazing. She has all different scents. It's all naturally made. She's based out of Colorado. She is a, anyway, go support her if you can. I promise you won't regret it. She has great products. Now on the topic of being sick, I bet you can hear in my voice, I sure am getting sick <laughs> because Justin has been sick for a week. It was pretty inevitable. I mean, when you're living with someone and they're sick, I'm just grateful I got through the week with the girls. We got to go out and do all these fun things together. With any luck, they won't get it. And I can just kind of like plow through it. I don't feel horrendous. I just don't sound great. And I definitely have like yellow mucus. Gross. But I had to share. <laughs> I guess I didn't have to share. Um, so anyways, just got dressed. Going to head downstairs, give Justin an opportunity to get ready for the day. And then I'm going to head out and I'm going to bring you with me. cozied up in my cozy comfort throw by Molly, by um, Molly Platt of a homespun house. It has kind of inadvertently turned into like his and my shared blanket at night. When I wake up and I'm just relaxing in bed, I, I put it over him and he really loves it. I mean, let's be honest, he'd really love any blanket, but I love it. I love it. I love it. It was such a fun project. And I'll always think of the Christmas season 2022 when I use it. Also, total side note. Okay, we're gonna do a little making spiel right now. These needles are phenomenal. <laughs> Cannot recommend them enough. Bit pricey for sure, but you know, I find them to be worth it. The other thing I wanted to show you, which I am gonna do a chatty vlog as well this weekend. I don't know when it'll be up. I anticipate this will be up first, but I started the Friday Slip Over by Petite Knit in uh, Legacy Fiber Arts DK and our bear, just the bear yarn. And I started yesterday and I am obsessed. It's in Broken Rib. I am using my Forest Charms Progress Keeper that I actually wanna say, Maria might have gifted me this one. I love it so much. Her um, stitch markers, or I mean, I'm sorry, her Progress Keepers are so beautiful. So anyways, just a little making update. What are we doing over here? Princess! You're playing princess? Um, we need the princess and I to make the bed some flowers. Wow. That's for the princess. Aww. That's, that's, for, the that's for me? Yeah. Oh, for you. Lily oh no, I dropped it. Hang on, hang on. Let me help you build it back. 
Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, that's perfect. perfect. Okay, I want to just show you my plants because I've moved them around a little bit. My grandmother gave me this succulent that is, ooh, this guy's not happy. That is massive, and it started off as this teeny tiny little tabletop succulent at my cousin's wedding. It was the wedding favor, and my grandmother grew it to this wildly leggy drapey succulent and she gifted it to me along with this little bumblebee um dec decoration thing which i absolutely love um this is some variety of a rubber plant that i got at price chopper if you can believe it or not it was like 3.99 and she's just thriving this is my oh gosh i always get this wrong either philodendron birkin or birkin philodendron i think it's philodendron birkin Anyway, this has been with me since my first day of house planting, and she has struggled, but she's finally growing a little bit. I mean, we're talking like two or three years. This is how much she's grown. Not my best, but you know, I love her. Love her dearly. This, I don't remember, is some kind of a pilea. I really like it. It reminds me of, it's just very whimsical, kind of Dr. Susie. Got a little spider plant baby over there. I've got my fiddle leaf fig, which I was, which I purchased like on a sale rack at Gardeners, and it was small. And she has grown all of these new leaves. Like, look, I even have another new one coming in right here. Again, thriving. This huge um, slider situation is so great for these plants. This is a prayer plant that I got. <clears throat> A prayer plant that I got and I nearly killed it from root rot because I put it in a pot that was way too big and once I realized it was failing I did a major plant surgery and kind of just like salvaged the little pieces that I could and grew them back to life and she's thriving I get new growth every week here's one that's coming in here's one that's coming in I'm not even exaggerating every week I have at least one or two new uh, leaves so anyways, she's my miracle plant. This is my very first rubber plant that I received. Yeah, hon. Can you put on my hat because this is going to freeze my head. Oh, of course, yes. Okay, now on to Deborah. Yes, there's a toilet back there. I have a potty training toddler. Um, she started as a tabletop. I put her over there where you can see my Berkey water filter. That's where her first home was on the counter and now look at her just loving life also these are going down to the basement because we are gonna just i'll put them in a bigger tupperware but we're gonna tuck them away and then bring them back when we need a little refresher of new books and toys but again so much new growth you can see right there we've got another little leaf coming through now i believe that will be a fenestrated leaf because it's coming from this gorgeous baby and I want to say one other was getting ready to have another little baby. But anyways, I love her. Uh-oh. Are you okay? Did you stub your toe? Ooh, that hurts. This was another gift from my grandmother. This is what I believe to be a Thanksgiving cactus, not a Christmas cactus. Somebody told me, and she also gifted me this gorgeous, both of these, the plants that she gifted me, are coming in these gorgeous um, planters. This is a milk jar planter. The thing that I'm so curious about, and maybe y'all could help me out, it has no drainage holes on the bottom. Are cactuses and succulents not supposed to have drainage holes? She thrives. I mean, she flowered like a champ this year. So I don't know, I'm just so curious about it. She lives right down here on the shelf. And then here's the other little pot that I got gifted that that succulent is in.
this is the last plant I wanted to show you. Again, real life, folks. Um, I got this from the secret, our secret Santa that we did with the, quote, kids in the family. So myself, Justin, both of my brothers, and Kristen. And Kristen got me for her secret Santa, and she, I requested a house plant, and of course, she delivered. So I got this gorgeous planter, and then look at this rubber tree, rubber plant, whatever you like to call them. This is new growth already. It was on its way in when she gifted it to me, so yeah, oh, I need to dust those leaves a little bit, but you can see there's another little guy coming in, growing, and she also gifted me this amazing candle. Yuletide Nights. I'm really enjoying it. Because I got to set this up. You want to go outside, I see. Yeah, we really want to go outside. Well, we'll have to ask Daddy when he gets down, okay? He already got his snowsuit on. Mm -hmm. But wow. I got us to pop it. You got to zip it up. <laughs> One more plant I forgot to mention. Oh, look at you. Um is this gorgeous plant that I can't think of the name. Pa pa pathos, pathos. She has been hanging here since the very first day I got her. But she was very contained at the top when I purchased her. There were no vines. And now she's just vining and eventually I do think I need to get her out of this pot before she becomes root bound. But this is the pot that I purchased her in. And she's just doing so well. I made the hanger from a YouTube tutorial and I love it. There's snow in my garden. I know it. Snow angel in the garden. Wow. All right, and I'm off. So my list of things that I had to do quickly grew in length as I was leaving the house because we have so many things that have to get done. I love you. I will. See you soon. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye, Charlie. Okay, let's roll up the window. So yes, it turned into what was just gonna kind of be like a relaxing, thrifting haul. Um, <clears throat> thrifting haul, thrifting, kind of perusing, and it turned into, we need things at the grocery store, we need things at Walmart, the girls are out of socks that fit them, um, I need to grab some vitamin C because we should really be taking it all year long, but specifically in the winter, um, so I'm gonna find somewhere to stop and get a coffee. And then figure out the best plan of attack. Oh, I also have to, oh yeah, I need to get things for Charlie's birthday I forgot about. So anyways, it's gonna kind of, we're gonna meander a little bit. Um, but I have to be honest, it feels so good to be just out in the quiet. I don't even care that I'm talking to my camera right now because there's no other noise that I need to be aware of. It's really so peaceful, so lovely, so energizing. Yeah, that's all I have to say. <laughs> it's coffee time. Well, I thought it was coffee time. I was going to stop at Nomad because it's really good coffee. It's a nice little local coffee shop. Um, but there was no parking, just zero parking. So I passed by it. We'll find somewhere, um, in Williston to grab some Java. I will be masking up all day today because I have germs, not COVID germs, not flu germs, just germs. And I kind of love the fact that now wearing a mask is so normalized because if I'm sick, I don't want to spread that just as much as I don't want to spread COVID. It's kind of lovely. So anyways, I'm at a red light. This red light is endless. This is called Five Corners in Essex Junction. And it, they're long lights because there are five different places that cars are coming from. So 
I'm just gonna wait and wait and wait. <laughs> Feeling super bummed. I forgot my AirPods and I really wanted to listen to an interview that just came out as I was doing all my errands, but instead I'm going to just enjoy the silence. Wish me luck. I just got to restore and do a little thrifting, see what I can find. Might find nothing, but it's always fun to just peruse. Okay, so I have, oh my gosh, my brain just went blank. How many more errands do I have to do? I think this one was it. I didn't write it down. I hate it when I don't write it down. But I haven't been vlogging everywhere I go because honestly, I was in such a good groove and I knew if I vlogged every place that I went, it would take me twice the amount of time. So I'll fill you in when we get home, but I got coffee for Justin and I. And now the only thing left to do is to stop by the post office and UPS. Whoa, I wasn't even filming myself and UPS. So I'm going to go do that and then get home. It's noon. So I was pretty efficient with my time. And um, it took everything in me not to go into Turner Toys because it's one of my favorite toy stores ever. But we can't spend that kind of money so I walked by, I'm so proud of myself. Um, but okay, time to get to the post office and UPS and then home, because I'm hungry. I should've grabbed a snack. Oh well, gotta go. Okay, so I am home after all of my errands, hanging with the kiddos, but I wanted to show you what I got in the two, at the two thrift shops. So everything you see here, I have been looking for, so with the exception of these two, okay kiddos, I need, I need, thank you. Um, with the exception of these two, because I already had these, I had been looking for additional wooden um, utensils. I would like to get rid of most of my plastic ones, because I just use, I always grab from my wooden ones more. And then I got this nice little wooden holder for them. So I really like it. I like the aesthetic. I'm gonna clean them up, oil them up, and it'll just be nice. Also, the amount of money I didn't spend thrifting, I got everything you're gonna see right now for under $40. I think it was a total of $36 for everything you're about to see. So all of that, plus this mixing bowl, which needs a lot of TLC, but 79 cents. And I decided this morning that I want the chaos y'all that I want to start using metal mixing bowls I grew up with metal mixing bowls and right now all we're doing is using our large bowls that we use for like actually eating food to mix stuff or our pyrex glass ones but anyways found one grabbed it for 75 cents I will wash it up oh guys my new journal is here a day early I'm so excited the girls vitamins are here just letting Romo out at the moment. But he's good out here for a couple minutes. So, oh my gosh. So much to show you today. What a good day to vlog, huh? The chaos of the weekends. Oh, hey, Charlie, that's the only one we're not going to play with because it's very delicate. So why don't you grab the other one right there? Oh, okay. Okay. Um, okay, so metal mixing bowl, all the wooden utensils, the wooden holder. I also got this gorgeous gardening basket. I don't know the other word for it, but it's where you can like really lay things down beautifully and collect them from your garden. And if nothing else, it's just 
just beautiful. And it was, oh, almost barking again. It was $4. Romo, now come in here. You mean, uh, come on, want treat? You mean Gary, Gary my dog. I oh. mean Gary my cat snail. Gary your cat. Come on, Romo. Come on, Gary the cat snail. Gary, Gary. Romo, come on. Yeah. I mean Gary, come on. Gary! Oh, okay. Robbie! He's drinking the snow. Taking forever. I think, I'm not exactly sure where I'm gonna put this basket yet, but I think, I don't know, and I love how like it's, it'll sit flat. This is really chaotic, this whole like talking section, so I'm really sorry if it's hard to follow. It's just the reality of my life. <laughs> Um, oh no, part of it came unwove in, but for $4, uh, oh, <laughs> okay, anyway, okay, so this one I'm thinking, let's see if it looks okay here, I have a feeling, ugh, no, it's gonna have to sit, so, oh, actually, let's see if it'll fit here, aha, okay, oh, <laughs> so it'll sit right there for now, until it's gardening season. Okay, a few of the other ones that I purchased. Right here, this little Banneton basket, I think. Which again, I did it. I purchased it with the thought that it would be more decoration than anything. Um, so I'm hanging it here for now on my little, the vacuum out of the way so it doesn't look as cheesy. I also got that wicker plate one for 75 cents. This one, which I'm going to eventually fill with dry flowers, much like I have here, for 79 cents. So. That was another little bit. So those three baskets, roll the vacuum back. It goes from like country cottage chic to like real life <laughs> homing. I know what it is to them this pet. Oh, look at Lily has another spoon. That was part of the haul as well. There you go, you can hold it now, uh, SpongeBob. Okay, let's see. They've commandeered all the rest of my baskets. Oh wait, this one we I thrifted a while ago. This one is new today. And I'm thinking for homeschooling, just to have around the house, they'll be really nice. This one is really sturdy and I really like. And then this one, again, another really sturdy one. Uh, that's all my stuff in. That's right, yep. So, okay, there you go. SpongeBob and Patrick. We like it, thanks. And then, my most favorite find for $15 at Goodwill. This lamp. I have been looking for ways to get more light into this room. It is still so bare bones and is so like mishmash together, but like this is the stage of life. Hey kiddos, can we talk a little bit quieter? Talk a little bit quieter, thank you. This is just the stage of life. <laughs> this is just the stage of life we're in. So the mishmashy, but still like same idea. Anyways, I wish that I had cleaned the house so that like it didn't look like this when I was showing you the things. And maybe I'll still do that in a more formal haul video. But for this vlogging reason, oop, I'm gonna take that. Thank you. Sorry. It's okay. You're gonna get the real life version of this haul. What do you doing? Okay, friends, <laughs> I'm so excited this came early. Recently, I ordered the Hobonichi Techo, just the original, the Avec. So there are two books in here. And I also ordered this case. It was supposed to get here tomorrow, but it is here today. So it is time to get my journal on. I'm so excited.
you enjoyed this video, please be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.